So let's start with that plasma membrane shown in yellow. The plasma membrane is made up of molecules called phospholipids. So one phospholipid, here's kind of a schematic of a phospholipid. Uh, phospholipids are interesting molecules because they have a polar end in gray and they have a nonpolar end in yellow. Okay, so if you take a bunch of phospholipids and if you put them in water, what are they going to do? Well, the polar ends, the polar head groups, as they're called, they don't mind being in close contact with water. Remember, water is a polar molecule also, so those polar regions are going to sort of attract each other. Meanwhile, the hydrophobic tails, these are water-fearing, just meaning they don't like to mix with water. It's, it's a lipid, it doesn't like to mix with water. So what's going to happen is all of those lipid tails will just kind of cluster together in order to get away from the water. So here's the really neat thing. Phospholipids, when you put them in water, they automatically do something very special. They form what's called a bilayer. It's um, one layer here, another layer here. So it's a bilayer, two layers put together. And um, this very special structure is what makes up the plasma membrane. This helps to keep the inside of the cell separated from the outside, the watery conditions in the surroundings. So that's the basic structure of the plasma membrane. This isn't quite the whole story. Let's go on to the next slide. Okay, so here's a more complete picture of a plasma membrane. So we've still got all those phospholipids. They're shown kind of in that uh, burnt orange color in this picture. But we also have other molecules embedded in the membrane. And what these other molecules are, um, a lot of them are proteins. And what they help to do is regulate traffic across the membrane. So this cell, it needs to be able to exchange materials with its surroundings. Um, for example, it needs to be able to take in fuel molecules like glucose, and it needs to be able to get, get rid of waste products. So things have to be able to move outwards also. And these proteins that are embedded in the membrane really help with that job. There are all different sorts of proteins. We're not going to get into all of the details about them. Um, what I'd like for you to know is this. The plasma membrane helps to regulate which sorts of things can cross. We say that the plasma membrane is a fluid mosaic. And the reason that it's called a fluid mosaic is because these molecules, the phospholipids, they're free to slide past each other. They can sort of change places, slide left and right, back and forth. Um, they, can, they can move in that sense. It's not like they're locked in place. Um, but it's called a mosaic because, well, when you look at it, it's kind of like a mosaic. There are lots of things embedded, these big proteins. Um, so it's almost kind of like looking at a a mosaic or think of like a stained glass window, lots of little pieces working together. Um, but interestingly, the, these molecules can slide around and, and change positions. 